So there's a lot of people on that planet that think that there's a couple of people, let's say 1% of the entire globe, that can actually write and the rest are just complete dumbass that can't. This is absolutely not true. Now there's actually lots of tools out there that can help you quickly fix all of these copywriting processes. Hey guys, I'm Jean Bonenfant, I'm the head of growth and training for the French market at Growth Tribe and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, copywriting. So the problem with nowadays is the attention spans of people. So when you take a look at like big studies such as uh, Nielsen Norman Group does, well you're going to realize really quickly that people don't really read anymore on the internet. What they're going to do is basically scan the entire pages. So there's ways that you should write that are actually really really intended to be business focused but also internet focused. This is copy for business and not copy for pleasure. So at some point you just go straight to the point when it comes to copywriting for business. All right, so now let's go into some tools. So I obviously can't talk about tools without talking about Grammarly. Grammarly is a great tool that's going to allow you to see all of your spelling mistakes. They have a free version and also a paid one, but the free version is actually good enough for me. By the way, if you're French, they have another one called Merci App and you can get that one if you're writing in French. A second one that I really like is Hemingway like the writer. Why is Hemingway so cool? Well, it comes back to what I said to you just before, meaning that you should be way more simple and straight to the point and try to write for basically an American citizen that is 16 years old. That's what you should aim when you do copywriting for business. They're going to show you the readability level of your text and even give you some suggestions on how to improve it. So what about AI powered tools? Well, there's a couple of great AI tools that can actually help you write. One that I can think of is Articulo. You can give a couple of keywords to that kind of tool and they're going to write you an article. It can't be an article that you're going to publish straight up, but obviously there's going to be a good first draft. Another one that is also incredibly cool is Headlime. Headlime is a great tool because it also can do value proposition, blog articles, newsletters, etc, etc. Go and check that one out because it's really getting better and better and they're using GTP3, which is one of the best artificial intelligence out there. So when we're talking about tone of voice and what kind of copy should I use for my persona, well, I usually try to really interview my persona first, but also I've got a couple of techniques that can tell me more about the psychology of these people and what kind of copywriting should be good for them. So I've got two tools that help me do that. The first one is Crystal Nose. Crystal Nose is a real gem because you can go on anyone's LinkedIn profile and basically know exactly what their personality are. What I love to do is to take five people of my best segment, for example, run the algorithm on every one of their profile, and then I'm going to look for patterns. When I have patterns, I can exactly know if these people need more detail or if these people prefer a benefit-oriented solution, for example. Another one is a bit sneaky, but I still do it. So I've got an app on my cell phone called author.ai. So let's say I'm going into a meeting with someone. I'm basically basically going to put myself on the table and record that person. You should ask them if they actually are okay with you recording them. So then author is going to give me a transcript of what that person actually said. That specific text, if there's more than a thousand or two thousand words, then I can put this text into IBM Watson. That is completely free and you can basically know now exactly the personality of the person that you have in front of you. So the way you do your copy is definitely going to change compared to the personality of the people that you're trying to convert. So now let me give you some actionable tips. So the first one I would give you is to actually use formulas and portions. Journalists do it all the time and there's a reason for that. They're really incredibly easy to use and I'm going to give you in the description below formulas and portions that you can use yourself. The second one is again just to keep it simple. This is not a novel, this is not a short story, this is not a script. It's actually business oriented copywriting. So you need to keep it simple and don't waste the time of your users. Another one would might be to take some risk at some point. There's a couple of examples out there that's actually greatly worked because we actually took a little bit of risk, make it funny, make it a bit evil, but at least people remember it, they talk about it at the office, etc, etc. And the last one would obviously to use the tools that I already give you, especially Headline, Hemingway and Grammarly. Those three ones are really, really, really in my favorite tool stack for copywriters. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video in the French accent. I'll leave you to it. Oh yeah, and they asked me to say that, but you need to like the video follow and all of those things and see you next time.